Hi everyone. I'm here today to give you a little tour of my forest studio. It's my little studio by the lake here in the forest. I've brought in quite a few pieces to give you an idea of what happens in this studio. So, this used to be a um, freestanding, like an outbuilding, and I transformed it into this really beautiful place of creativity. What I'm going to do now, I think, is pop the um, camera on the tripod here and give you a tour of some of my paintings. Yeah. So... I'm not going to be able to show you everything. We'll be here all day. <laughs> I'm going to give you an idea of some of my work. Hi, everybody. Hi. Okay. Um, this painting right here, this easel, I adore this painting so much. It's called Won't You Take My Hand and Stand Still. It's really dedicated to um, standing still and contemplating the grandeur and majesty of nature what I feel like. I feel like I'm standing on a cliff. It's, this is an oil painting. Everything you see here is oil. Um, I do an acrylic underpainting sometimes on some of these pieces. Not all of them. Um, everything you see is oil. I'm an oil painter. I adore, I adore oil paint. I think it's a living, breathing thing. That's why I love it. I can't paint in acrylic. Um, this series of paintings are these pretty frames brought from Italy. I spent half my year a different studio there, but I do bring some things back and forth. This is called I Am the Rose. I have three of these beautiful paintings. These frames are really nice. This is called Love Lives in the Water. I did a series of paintings all about love and where it lives in nature. Um, that's actually the only one I have left for that series. I really love that piece. I have one more of those in these frames. Hmm. This is called Blue Sea. Blue Sea is dedicated to the Mediterranean, one of my favorite places on the planet. That's Blue Sea. Oh, I'm going to show you now something very special. This is that time I saw you in a dream. It's one of my mystic landscapes, or what I call these paintings. They're landscapes from my imagination, purely. This came from my Colorado studio. I painted this in Colorado. It's an absolute joy and beauty to, to behold. I this painting. It has its, it really has light emanating from it. Beautiful painting. Um, oh, <laughs> more nature magic coming your way. This is Speranza, which means hope in Italian. This painting is exactly what you see. It's the hope and the bounty and the new life that springs forth from nature. I, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece, this one too. Love this one. Okay, um, hang on, let's see. I'm being careful not to drop anything on live video. Oh, this painting, oh, okay. This is called The Storm Inside Me. A super dramatic, very emotional, powerful piece that I painted. Um, this is from September. I dealt with a severe sickness for the end of the summer, and I was coming out of it, but it had been really, really hard for me, and this is the first painting I made coming out of that sickness, and it was literally about the feeling of having a storm running through my veins inside my body. Um, I adore the drama and power in this painting. I also really love the palette. I love the violet. I've been very into violets lately. Um, very into the kind of hot crimson colors. This painting, I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you that one um, with my camera. I don't want to move it because it's wet. So let's keep going. This is Love Child. This is just a really beautiful, sensual, sexy painting. I love this painting. 
Yeah, yeah. I I sometimes knock in the pinks and love. I just love the pinks. I'm going to show you three pink paintings right now. Um, so I'm behind the camera and coming, everyone. So I have... This is called This Is Why I Love You. So I do have some smaller work. This is... I, I go a little smaller sometimes. Um, but this is... A beautiful piece it's the reason I named it that and I gave it that title is because as I was making this I said this is why I love you meaning this is why I love painting it was one of those paintings that was just this beautiful flow and it's just a beautiful beautiful piece I th oh this one has gold pigment in it as well which I use sometimes you can see it down in the bottom um, sometimes I use gold pigment it's not glittery it's just got a sheen on it this is Orchid in the Rain, which speaks for itself. It's the movement of the rain. Yeah. So those are those two. I'm coming with a few more, and then I'm going to pick up the camera again. This painting, so I have two paintings coming right now. One of them is quite new, smaller. So this is... The Birth of Every Wave. I dreamt this painting. It was one of the few paintings that I kind of said, I, I have to make this finish this painting. Um, it was it was a, like a preconceived painting about the, the birth of movement in the tides and in nature. Um, and I really love this size. It's 15 by 30 inches. It's just enough to make impact, but it's still makes it more accessible for people, I feel like, sometimes. This is hydrangea. I love this painting. Very textured painting. It has a lot of paint on it. It's just a flowing, lush garden of hydrangeas and cloudy sky and kind of that romantic, overflowing moment in nature. Yeah. Okay, I'm placing everything so it doesn't fall over, <laughs> All right? I'm going to grab the camera now and give you a tour of some other pieces here. Okay, so this is uh, my most recent painting. I have to get way back on it to fit it in the, the screen. Oh, it's called I Am Every Sea. It's a beautiful piece. It's 48 by 24. Um, and it's still wet, still drying. It has some really, really beautiful passages. It's one of my seascapes, abstract seascapes. Um, and a beautiful palette. I'm loving the violets lately. I truly am. Yeah, it's a beautiful piece. Everything is finished on the sides. This is Appassionata. It's one of my ascension paintings, The Sky Meeting the Earth. It's warm, really beautiful palette happening. This painting has been in two different exhibitions. It's, people, it's very, um, it's been seen by a lot of people. <laughs> um, let's see, shall we? Oh, this piece is not finished yet. I'm working on this piece, so that's why I'm not talking about it. That's my latest piece happening right now. That is Astro Violin. I've done quite a few moon paintings. That one is actually sold, waiting for varnish and shipping. This piece is one of my latest. And I don't remember if I talked about this at the beginning. If I did, please bear with me. Um, this is the light that only I can see. It's one of my Ascension paintings. I've made a lot of these paintings that tell the story of the sky meeting the earth what happens when the sky meets the earth in that magic moment. It's a beautiful piece. My ascension paintings are very popular, popular with people. Oh, here we have one. Kind of on the floor, sorry. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna move this one. The light's not great right there, so let's move it over here. This is Haven. This is Haven. A beautiful, natural, mystic landscape painting with a lot of light a lot of brushwork a lot of technique in this one 
movement upwards, light. Yeah, beautiful natural painting. Um, let's see if I can get back here to show you a moment of the wildest freedom. It's one of the largest ones I have here in the studio today. I do paint larger than all of these. I just don't have them in here today. This is a wild ode to free movement and growth and spontaneous energy. It's a really beautiful piece. So, it's my studio. It's my forest studio. I have many more pieces, but I couldn't bring everything here today. Thanks for watching.